y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is neo shanisha lay i'm going things from neo shanisha lay way period point blank and y'all i got this straight basic one y'all i tried to break this here with my nails on and it keeps getting snagged and like <sighs> very annoying the braids not even that good of braids but anyways y'all we got a wig installed we got a wig from ali pearl hair so y'all, we finna jump straight into it. Um, let me show y'all what's inside the bag. Okay, first off, that's the wig. Okay, so there's this little thing here. Wig caps. Here's some lashes. And then it has a band. I love these little bands, honestly. And here's another band. This one a lot shorter. Um, and an edge brush. So, I'm definitely going to be using this edge brush. Right, this is an HD lace. 180 density. 16 inch. And... Uh, it's black, of course. Okay, y'all, so the lace is looking real good. I'm not gonna bleach it this time, but I probably will do the makeup just to, you know. But anyways, y'all, yeah, the cap size is looking pretty good. It's like a lot of room in there, and I'm big on that because I got a big head, okay? Y'all, so... It's looking good. And honestly, I love the smell of some hair. So, I say it smells good. I like the smell of it, honestly. A lot of people be complaining about that. Oh, the hair has a smell. The hair has a smell. But, it smells good to me. So, yeah, y'all. We're going to get right into the video. I just want to give y'all a look. Unboxing and a review on the week. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it. You guys, so we finna jump straight into the video. I'm going in with my cap, put my cap on. And y'all, you could really use whatever cap color. Um, I first started to realize that I thought I had to use a dark one, but a light one worked. Anyways, y'all go ahead and cut a hole in the ear part just so that the, late, the net is as flat as it can be to your head. We're gonna go ahead and get our ghost bond glue and put it right there so that we can cut the lace. Well, not the lace, cut the net. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll be mixing them up. But anyway, y'all, now we're gonna take our um comb and blend the glue in. And we're gonna wait for like about 10 minutes for it to dry. You wait till it gets clear, and then you could go ahead and cut the lace off. You guys, so right here we're gonna be cutting the lace. I start in the middle and just go down on one side, cut it all the way as far as it can be, like to where you would want your wig to be sitting, pretty much. And we go in with another layer of glue. And now this is to get that where you just cut it at to be real flat. Cause you see how it's still kind of sticking up. It's not giving scalp. So we're gonna put that glue right there and blend it again. And it's gonna blend in with the skin. Okay, you guys, and now I'm just going in with my e.l.f. camo concealer, and I'm just going to put that on my um, lace, the wig cap, and the neck. The wig cap and the lace. Anyways, whatever matches your skin color, that's what you want to put on there so that it can be really blended. I'm blending it in with my little brush, y'all.
go ahead and grab a wipe and just wipe your forehead just to get that excess makeup off of it because it will show differently whenever you have the lace on so just get off anything extra and now i'm just putting the concealer on my wig cap my lace just so that it's really really blended as y'all can see it's giving scalp okay y'all and now i'm just cutting off the sides where my ears like the part that would go over your ear is actually too long so i'm kind of cutting it just a little bit okay y'all we're going in with another layer of glue i'm doing two dots at a time this time because we want it to be real you know spaced out and thick so that it really holds the wig down so yeah now we're just gonna blend that in wait 10 more minutes let that dry we want it to be clear remember that Okay, and after your glue dries, just go ahead and press the glue wig down onto your head and get it to sit where you want it to exactly. And then you're gonna get your band. I always get a band. I get my skinniest band and wrap it around there just to hold it down. But you gotta make sure that it's sitting kind of perfectly because if you put it too far over on one side, it'll be hanging over your ear a little bit. Anyways, get into the lace, stop playing. Ali Pearl did that with the HD lace, for real. So y'all, I'm putting a band on, getting my wig to lay real flat. I'm gonna leave that on for about a good 10, 15 minutes so that it's really stuck in there and yeah. Guys, and now we're just gonna cut the lace off. And you wanna try to, really and truly, it's best to use the little razor thing, but for some reason, I could not find mine nowhere, so I had to use my scissors. And anyways, I'm just cutting it as far back as I want it. You wanna try to cut off as much lace as you can. You don't really wanna leave no lace, and it's giving scalp, stop playing. It's giving scalp, for real. Now, y'all see where I cut it, and it kinda can't, it's like not fully sticking down. So I'm going in with some glue on those little spots that it's not fully stuck and we just gonna make sure that it's sticking. Okay guys, now we're gonna pull the edge hair out, um, both by ears and I'm doing a deep side part, so kind of like the little C part. So you are gonna see how I'm pulling the edges out. You just kind of go on the side of the part, if that makes sense. But it's kind of self-explanatory. Y'all can see here what I'm doing, the kind of hair. I mean, like don't pull out too much hair because you don't want the edges to be too thick. So if it's too much hair, put some hair back. Okay, and after I get my edges pulled out, I do put my band back on just so that the edges are already trained to go forward that way or whatever, or kind of like lay down and stick because they do not be wanting to lay if you do not put that band on it. So anyways, now we're fixing to just start prepping the hair, styling it or whatever while we waiting for the band to dry. Well, not waiting for the band to dry, <laughs> waiting for the edges and stuff to get laid. We finna go in and part each section, add in mousse, and we're gonna run our high comb over it, y'all. This is the best way to get your wig flat. Keep on like parting each piece in each section, put mousse on it and run the high comb over it. I 
after that 10 minutes now i'm gonna take my wig band off and i'm cutting my edges you kind of want to cut them at a slanted angle um the front of them should be shorter than the back of them if that makes sense to y'all i hope that makes sense okay anyways y'all see how i'm cutting them slanted a little bit yeah do that if you want to have that cute little you know fluffy look your little skinny flat iron we're gonna curl them edges up because we want them to be fluffy we want them to look real good we don't want them looking stiff so do that to each edge And so I'm just going in with my mousse. Um, I like to use mousse just simply because like it's not heavy on the edges. So the edges still kind of look fluffy. They don't look stuck down. Because if you use like got to be glue, they're going to be very hard and stuck. So anyways, I like mine to be still, you know, movable. So um, just go in with that. And you got to swoop them. You got to swoop them and swoop them and swoop them. But when you curl them, honestly, it makes it easier to swoop them. Because if you don't curl them, they are not trained to just go. Yeah. I told y'all to do this a long time ago, but cut the little net, the lace off, not the lace. Oh my God. Cut the cap because it still should be sitting right there on your ear if you haven't cut it off already. I'm cutting mine off extra, extra late. And now I'm just feeling myself because getting to it real cute. It's giving soccer mom. Soccer mom. It's giving. <laughs> yeah, this is cute. Oh my God. The lace is so HD. Like, it's not even there for real. So, y'all, I'm putting my band back on just to hold my edges down. And after that 10 minutes, I take my band off. And now we're just to get into styling the hair. Take your wax stick and go ahead and part off like you did with the, the mousse. And you want to just basically part it and put the wax stick on it and then run your hot comb over it. This is going to get the wig super flat. Like, I use mousse and wax. I know some people only use one or the other, but using both of them, best believe that wig going to be laid.
Okay, and so this is really like up to you if you want to do this or not. But I take my concealer and I basically put it on like a slanted brush and go into my part and kind of like make my part look thicker and the skin color of my skin, I guess. If that makes sense, y'all, I do not do a good job at explaining. But anyways, it makes the part look straighter or like more uh, defined. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna get our black spray because we might've got some on our hair a little bit. We want it to look real sharp. So I'm gonna go in with the black spray after I get done with this makeup part. And you just want to rub that onto your hair, like the hair part, but you don't want it to touch the part. If that makes sense, y'all. Oh my God. Okay, let's talk about it. Look at the crimps. Look at the crimps. Y'all, they cute. They is real cute. I hope y'all like the crimps. Love this hair. Real cute. Yeah. So, y'all, get it, Allie Pearl. For the good inches, the good length, the good hair. And y'all, the good lace, because get into this lace. What lace? Do y'all see it? No lace. Let's get into the install. Y'all, something, a mosquito must have bit me right there, so please don't mind that. Anyways. With the cramps. Come through with the cramps. Stop playing like I ain't come through with the cramps, okay? Get it on my shoulder for y'all. Don't mind it. Okay, you guys, so I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope I got y'all to install y'all wig real late. Period point blank, y'all. Stay tuned for the next video if you haven't already. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.